The Sacramento Fire Department is paying tribute to their first African American fire chief with a new installation. Yeah, and this is such a fascinating story. Yeah. Molly Real joins us live with all the details. Hey, Molly. Hey, good morning. Yeah, you know, I usually get out of bed excited for the day, excited for the stories I get to tell. Love my job. Today, I was especially excited. So this is going. This is a display honoring uh, former fire chief Ray Charles. In 1986, he became Sacramento Fire's first black uh, fire chief, and <laughs> the helmet recently came into the department's hands in a wild way. Now, this is current chief. Loesch, tell us, tell us how you came upon this helmet. I mean, the story is incredible. So what happened, one of my members, as a lot of our members do, they go online looking for fire department memorabilia. He came across this helmet from somebody who was reselling in Wilmington, Delaware. And the reseller actually got it out of a thrift shop in Delaware. So when we, uh, when we heard about it, he happened to call uh, my office. And I was like, ooh, there's an opportunity here. So in, in partnership with the 522, the union, uh, they put some money up, we put some money up, and uh, we started bidding on it. Yeah. And fortunately, we were able to win it. Amazing. And this isn't the appropriate place for his helmet display. This is the Chief Ray Charles Hall of Honor dedicated to him in 2018. Why don't we go ahead and, and see this helmet? It's a very cool helmet. You said you knew it was authentic partly because of what it looked like. That is correct. Uh, for a short period of time, we had this particular model helmet, so we knew that it was authentic to that time. And then uh, after we got the helmet, we've uh, built this uh, display stand, and this helmet now will be permanently on display here in the Ray Charles uh, Hall of Honor. It's amazing. And you said he, he autographed the inside of the helmet, too, which is where you're, you're not going around autographing your helmets. Uh, no. no. <laughs> First of all, nobody would want my own, but yes, he has signed the inside of his helmet, and we do know that's an authentic uh, signature. Amazing. Uh, Chief Loesch, I, you got to meet him when you first came to the department. What was he like? He was, uh, he was a, a, an older gentleman, but you knew that he was still feisty, full of fire. Uh, when I met him, I was calling him sir, mm -hmm. even though he was the former fire chief. But he was, he was uh, such a mentor to the entire department, but particularly to uh, the young African-American firefighters that had been in, uh, were joining the department and had been here. Yeah, definitely a mentor and an inspiration. And I want to show you, you know, there's this plaque here of the former uh, fire chiefs before your time. Here he is. And, you know, of the seven, three of them are African-American. So he certainly started a legacy. Uh, very inspiring. What do you hope, what do you hope having his helmet here will mean to current future past firefighters? So obviously as a fire service, we have to move forward, you know, uh, but there's always that part about legacy and about tradition. And future firefighters, every day as they walk in, they will see this helmet and realize what he meant to the department and how he was such a mentor. Yeah. Well, you know, I think, again, the story of how this helmet came into your hands is pretty wild, but definitely feels like it was meant to be. Don't you guys think so? Right? Because, I mean, stories like that don't happen unless... There's a yeah, you know, there. It, what are the it's odds? It's a catalyst. Yeah, yes. that is pretty wild. That is exactly. a, that is so neat that they came across and that and they won condition. the bid. Yeah. Could you imagine if I somebody know, else so won special. the bid and how bad they would feel? Right. <laughs> Wait a second.